about a year since meme stocks soared to new highs, but these darlings of the Reddit field trade last year have endured a tough couple of months. Our next guest is looking for a potential rebound. Julian Emanuel is Evercore ISI Senior Managing Director of Equity, Derivatives, and Quantitative Strategy. Julian, thank you so much for joining us and walk us through this thesis that you have. So first, what stock specifically in this so-called meme trade are you seeing as ripe for a recovery? Well, there are really a number of them. And the way we think about it is, is if you uh, crested at the, that peak of emotion in January and February, and you were down 50, 60, 70 percent or more um, into what uh, is, is really a, a, a what we think a bottoming phase um, in here, particularly if you had the same thing that uh, that carried the meme stocks to their highs a year ago, uh, onerous short interest. Those are the kinds of names uh, across a variety, you know, um, uh, synthetic uh, meats, uh, uh, theaters, all, all, all manner of things like that, uh, exercise equipment, etc. All of those names really do look as if not only uh, have they been uh, sort of left uh, for, for, for gone, but that uh, in fact, the short side of the ledger is really pressing these bets. And from where we stand, uh, basically, it, it's not likely warranted uh, simply because positioning is so extreme and on the one hand. And on the other hand, the credit markets, even though we have this kind of volatility we're seeing in the broad market, are still relatively sanguine, um, despite uh, sort of the, the way January has gotten off to the start. All of these names are very different. We were just taking a look at a few of the prominent meme stocks on the screen there a moment ago. And Robinhood, the only one in positive territory today, we should also note that off of their most recent earnings report, they had seen some new all-time lows. And so with, with all of that in play, one company, very different, AMC, they secured $950 million. And that was as part of a, a bit and attempt to pay down debt. And so all of this considered, where have you seen some of the meme stocks try to reattach themselves? to fundamentals and are the traditional or the Reddit retail trader community, are they latching on to that move back towards fundamentals and, and praising that? Well, to be, to be perfectly frank, the market itself is going to dictate that traders and investors reassert the primacy of fundamentals. That's what a, a rising interest rate environment uh, dictates. That's what higher volatility dictates and and frankly uh you know fed policy that is likely to become uh you know markedly less accommodative in the weeks and months to come all of that means that you need to do your homework about what fundamentals look like and uh, the the case in point that you made of, of the company that was able uh, to secure financing uh, to the extent that the credit markets are, remain open and there is, uh, you know, substantial business viability, that really argues uh, for a potential bounce in, in these types of stocks. So against that backdrop and all these factors, including Fed policy that you mentioned, how sustainable would a rebound actually be for some of these names? Would it be something that could be sustained or would it just be a brief jump off of the bottom? I would say that a lot of it has to do with what the outlook is for the economic reopening. Our, uh, our fundamental thesis is that the virus is likely to become endemic by mid-year. And if that's correct, some of these names that, uh, you know, have had their fluctuations in and around the last year, in and around uh, the sort of the movements and the psychology uh, surrounding the virus, may have a lot more staying power than their share prices currently reflect. All right, we'll leave it there. Julian Emanuel is Evercore ISI Senior Managing Director of Equity, Derivatives, and Quantitative Strategy. And thank you again so much for your time.